Welcome to this week's episode, as we are on the road again, having two new years. To everyone, happy new year, and let the adventure begin. Mark doesn't want to do an intro because there's this many people behind us. We're in Auckland for our first round of New Year's. We're here at the Sky Tower, which is going to shoot at fireworks in five minutes. We're sitting against a brick wall because Holly brought us here too early. Holly, what do you have to say for yourself? I knew you were going to say that. Passover. I thought, being my intelligent self, that we could show up early, do all our check-in stuff, and then go and get food. Because we're at a marina, and I thought we were in like a little town, but it's the first day of the year, and there is nothing. Nothing open. So here we are. Here we sit. Yeah. Bikes. Cars. Only a bit of shade in this marina. Right, let's go dive. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Welcome everyone to the beautiful islands of Tahiti in French Polynesia. Now as you guys saw, we had two New Year's this year. How does that work? I know, it was a bit crazy for us and a lot of people were confused too. Now we flew to Auckland where they had their New Year celebrations and we were lucky enough to enjoy them at the Sky Tower in the amazing city of Auckland. And then we jumped on a flight the next day and flew to Tahiti crossing over the international date line, pretty much traveling back to the past. We traveled back to 2022 and had another new year in Tahiti. And this is now again the 1st of January 2023 for us as we jump in to explore the beautiful islands of Tahiti and see what they have to offer. Now Tahiti in French Polynesia is really known for surfing. And when you're there, you can see why. There was waves crashing everywhere. There were surfers out, but under the waves was where the magic was for us. I mean, you're looking up these pinnacles and seeing fish and healthy reef everywhere. This dive site is called La Source, or also known as the Spring. 
and you'll find out why very soon. But on the third pinnacle is where the real treat was for us. There was turtles everywhere. Green sea turtles, hawksbow sea turtles. For some strange reason at this third pinnacle, they just rest there. And we were finding turtle after turtle. They were everywhere, even baby turtles. As Holly will tell you, she loves turtles. This was just spectacular because they would allow us to come up very, very close. And we just so chilled with the divers. It was just so cool to see how relaxed they were. And to be honest, I reckon we saw probably 20 turtles in this dive. When you look around, there's fish in the backdrop swimming everywhere and the reef is very healthy. But Holly was like, give me the camera, I want to get close to these turtles. And as you can see here, we have a baby turtle swimming along. And if you looked around very closely, didn't have to look too closely, there was big schools of fish everywhere. They were cruising around and you could get really close to them as they were grazing along the reef. I know, as you saw earlier in the clips, you looked in the nooks and crannies as well, you'd find nurse sharks. It was honestly spectacular. What this dive site is known for is the source, the spring. And you're gonna see why in very soon as we drop off the top of the pinnacle into Smurf Village. Because down in Smurf Village, all the coral is like mushrooms and it looks like Smurf Village. Even Holly named it in our logbook as Smurf Village. As always, me and Holly are messing around, calling each other crazy, having a bit of fun, relaxing, as we move down towards Smurf Village and the source. And I'm trying to get my camera back, but Holly's having none of it. But of course, we got distracted when a porcupine fish came past because as you all know, I love porcupine fish. But we finally reach it, Smurf Village. And you can see why. It really does look like Smurf Village with all the mushroom coral just coming up and there was hundreds of them. It was so cool to see. And even Holly's like, aye. Now here we are, the source, the spring. And what is really cool about this, now you can't really tell until we get closer, is it's actually a freshwater spring. So this is actually fresh water pushing up out of the earth crust below or out of the spring water below pushing up through this pinnacle and it gives a very real eerie view like your vision disappears and goes when you come into it and the water temperature dropped about three or four degrees celsius as well which is really quite interesting because it's about 28 and when you went in that water it was around about 23 24 but look at it the amount of water coming out of it and there's a lot of nutrients coming around it. But what was quite interesting is a lot of the fish would swim in and out of it, considering it is fresh water. Now, as we look around, you can just see a top as well. You can actually see how far up this fresh water column is going, how much it's been pushed up. And you can see the fresh water has lines along the surface looking like oils like oil patches that was actually fresh water patches as well but guys as we make our way back towards the boat as always to thank you guys for subscribing commenting liking it helps out so much and we're looking forward to an awesome 2023 so subscribe to not miss out on the adventure it's free so why not